What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know you're really excited to come back for another video on another week by me, Tiberius Green. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the holy trinity of camera lights. And more importantly, what is it after this? So you might be asking yourself, what does he mean by the holy trinity of camera lights? Well, I'm going to answer that question for you right now. It is three camera lights, small LED lights that you've seen all over YouTube and other content creators have the same things. But I picked three camera lights that I think everybody should have and they work really well together. First up is the Aperture MX. Now this thing is a beast of a light. It has, I mean, obviously you turn it on, it has multiple different color temperatures. So you can go from warm all the way to cool. Tell me that's not awesome and that's not rad. You can even go, so say you want cool, but then you want to, you know, make it all a brighter. You can do that too, or you can make it dimmer. Awesome. And it also has this boost mode. It makes it really, really bright. And I'm probably messing up my white, but let me turn that off but I'm probably messing up my white balance with that because you know, it's color temperature and I have mine set to a different temperature. Anyway, the build quality, solid aluminum. It's built really well. It's got a USB-C charging port. It even has a quarter inch thread on the bottom that you can actually plug this in or <laughs> plug or screw this into, which it comes with it like so. And now you can basically move that anywhere around any way that you want to get creative with your lighting which I think is such an awesome thing this light also has diffusers where it has this soft I want to say like shower door diffuser as well as its typical you know white glossy one so they're all magnetized it just you can also use this light for practical effects, like putting it underneath, you know, a table for instance. You can put this in your car or behind a bookshelf, behind some books if maybe you want to light those up, or behind your computer screen. You can get completely creative with this light. It's my favorite one. Next up is the Aperture M9. This is the light that actually came before the MX. It's smaller. Not as powerful as the MX, but the only thing that this really has is the dimming ability. That's it. It comes with colored gels that you can use the same way the MX works. You pop this on and off, you slide them in between, magnetized. Like I said before, this one doesn't have a quarter inch. So it comes with this little aperture clip, so to speak. So you put that on, and I actually have this attached to a mini ball head to get the same effect that I did with the MX. So that's how that works. And also, as you can see on the back, I put a piece of Velcro. Why is that important? I have a little piece of Velcro above where the lights are. You know, those little buttons that you press and the light is just terrible. So what I do, I just attach it up there if I want to vlog in the car or if I want to film in the car. So actually a little tip or a hack that you can do with this, I'll give it to you. It's something that I do. You turn this on and then you put it on your phone. So like if you're just like, so say you're doing a short film, especially when it's dark, it, you know, it has that brightening effect on your face. So if you were in say like a car and you were trying to film that, or if you're just at night, same idea goes with the MX in front of a laptop screen if you're filming for the brightness as well. Last but not least is the Loom Cube. This thing is a beast. It has four different brightness settings. It also comes with a soft light for daylight balance or bright or white or whatever. And it also has one for a warmer tone. So depending on the feel of what you're trying to do or the trying or the type of look that you're trying to get. Pop that little bad boy on, it fits nice and snug, and voila, 
Now you have a soft light that you can use to accent anywhere that you want. Like if you're filming with your GoPro and you film it in a freezer and you want to replace that light, throw this little guy in there. I mean, this thing is actually waterproof. You can throw it in the water if you want to. I think this is, yeah, this is the Loom Cube Air, actually. Really highly recommend one of these. So that's the holy trinity of camera lights and the ones that I like to use throughout my videos. I hide them in little places and I love to use these lights in all of my videos. Sometimes you just don't even notice that they're there. They're just little accent lights that hide behind things. Just make the scene in the background look so much better. I actually had a chance last night to test these lights out with the Sony a7R 3 in its low light settings on the DJI Ronin S. And we filmed a little bit, a little bit of footage on that, which you've seen in the intro. But for this one, I wanted to use these lights in a specific way. As you can see, she's like up against the window here. But I put the MX up on about a 45 degree angle. So it gave the impression of a street light. It lit her up enough to be the key light. And down on the bottom right towards the, like about... The waist level off to the side since she was wearing a black dress I used the aperture m9 light to light her dress so it gives a little bit of detail and then I used the little loom cube I actually put this on the windowsill now putting it on the windowsill she was wearing a specific type of lotion so when I put it on the windowsill it lit up her legs where they were a little bit shiny and you could see the sparkles in them <laughs> women in their sparkles so as you can see, these are really versatile lights. One of the most important things that I love about these lights is their footprint. I slide these two into my camera bag like this, put this right on top. It does not take up any space in your bag. Like, look at how small all these things are. You could literally like have a three point lighting system with just these three lights for your photography, for even doing small filming projects. You never know when you're going to need to light something. And this thing has gotten me out of a pinch so many times. So many times. I'll leave the link in the description below for all three of these lights in case you choose to get them. Down the line, I think I'm going to make my Holy Trinity lighting setup. The MX, two MXs, and a Loom Cube. I think that's going to be a solid little lighting setup that I can use for portraiture or different little things when I'm going out. I just think it'll be awesome. So until then, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and this time I will see you. Maybe. Yeah. Because I, I, I want to see you guys again. I think, I think it'll be good. Good for everybody. Have a good time. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, world.